So today we're looking at updating Kube Prometheus. So Kube, Kube Prometheus for me runs in my Kubernetes cluster and it monitors all the things at my home that I want to monitor. For example, like my router here, uh, my two servers, the CPU usage and temperature. Uh, the temperature and humidity and pressure here are all measured by a sensor that's connected to a Raspberry Pi sitting on my desk. And then the tank water level sensor is a project I'm working on, but that's just a dummy value at the moment. So Kube Prometheus is in my Kubernetes cluster is managed by Argo CD. So we can see it here. I've made some changes, so we're out of sync at the moment, but we'll do all those changes on this video. So what we're going to do is we're just going to follow the update instructions on the Kube Prometheus project page. Um, we're going to open up an issue in GitLab. We're going to create a branch of my local registry. We will make the changes, push them to the registry, and then roll them out with Argo CD. So to start with, let's create our new issue in GitLab, and we'll call this minor update for Kube Prometheus. And we'll just put in here from the instructions I'll be following and a couple of notes. So the this is an additional dashboard that I've added and this is automated through the JSON net file that we'll see in a minute. But the scrape secrets that collect these metrics from node exporter running on all those nodes and this one is a custom exporter that I wrote in Go. So that all needs to be in an additional config. Um, so we'll just have to make sure we add that. And I've opened another issue on my repository to automate all of this in the future, but for now it's just a manual process. So we'll sign it to me like we've done before. We'll submit the issue. And we'll go over create a merge request. We'll call it six minor update. And we will create the merge request. Okay, so now we go back here. So first of all, we want to go to the main Kube Prometheus Git repository and we just want to do a git pull. We can see I've got some changes there that need to be pulled down. Uh, git stash. So now we've got the latest upstream. Go to my Kube Prometheus. We'll just do a git pull here to make sure we're on the latest, and that should also pull in the branch we need to check out. So we will git check out the six minor update branch. Okay, so now we're on the branch, as we can see over here. Okay, so now we've created our merge request and we have checked it out in our Git repo in our terminal. So we want to go through and we just want to start following the instructions here for how to update. So the first thing we do is a go get on the JB tool to make sure we have the most recent version available. So once the go get for the JB command has completed, then we can just do a JB update. And while we're waiting for that, we'll check the next steps. So the next step after that will just be to compile the all the manifests that we need to actually apply the, the install. So we will just run our, our bash script, which is highlighted uh, build.sh. So we just run it like this, build.sh, and then our JSON net file. So this is almost complete. So after JB update is finished, then we want to run the bash script to build the, the manifest. So the bash script is in the Kube Prometheus Git repository. So it's back one directory. So we have back one directory, build.sh, and then my JSON net file. So if you look in my JSON net file here, we can see it's very similar to what you would get by default if you have a look on the Kube Prometheus Git repo, but I've added this section here. And this allows me to add my custom dashboard to Grafana as a default baked in dashboard. So I don't have to do it every single time I do an update. So that is this dashboard here. So all I did was I created this and I went to save and 
copy JSON to clipboard and I just pasted in a file and then pushed it to this, this registry. So um, it's going to import this one here. So this is the JSON file. Let me cat that one. So that's all the settings for that dashboard we looked at. So what we do then is we build SH. So that's going to remove the current manifest, regenerate the manifest, and then I can I need to make a couple of adaptions to it. Like we need to make sure the scrape configs for my router and servers and my temperature monitor are all in there. So we'll re-add them. And then I also have a Raspberry Pi. So it's a different architecture. I need to make sure it doesn't just apply all of this to anything with the operating system Linux, which is the default. I need to change it to, um, ARM 60, uh, to AMD64 so that it doesn't deploy on the Raspberry Pi. So once it's done that, we can just do sed minus i. So we can see here we're finding anything that is looking for Kubernetes IO OS Linux. I'm going to change that to Arch AMD64. So we just want to do it on vendor, then manifest, and then set up. So once that's been complete, we need to add back in the scrape config. So we do a git diff on git diff. Yep, so we git diff that file. We can see that we're now missing the additional scrape config. So we'll just quickly copy that and we'll edit the file. So down here under service account, we'll just add them in there. Clean that up so that it's valid. Okay, so now we should be good. So we can git add manifest and vendor. We want to do a git commit dash m minor update for Prometheus. Then we want to do a git commit amend. So we're just going to add here closes hash six. And that will close the issue we've just created. And then we can just do a git push. And go back to our git repo we can mark it as ready and merge it and then if we come over to argo cd we can see that prometheus is saying that it's out of sync so we're just going to sync that now click on it we can go see as it happens so I was having some issues with the Grafana resource down here so let's see if, if the update has fixed that okay so what, what I did to fix that was I just deleted the Grafana deployment in the end so go back here I just did delete deployment Grafana so we do a kubectl get pods, we can see the new Grafana pod has been created and if we go back here, I was getting an error while that was down and if I refresh that page, I can now log in again uh, Okay, so it reset my password during this deployment but we can see that my dashboard is still here and it's still collecting that data from the additional scrape config. So that has all worked fine. We can still query that info. We can also go to Prometheus targets and we can see that my additional endpoints are up. So that one is my router, that's the OpenStack compute node and then the overt compute node. And so tempmon sensor, so it's up as well. So all of my additional scrape configs are up. Uh, Grafana is back up again now, and Argo CD is reporting that everything is in sync. So yeah, just to, the the issue there was that something had changed the labels. The labels are an immutable value for that resource, so I just had to delete it, and then Argo CD recreated it from scratch, and now we're all good. So for that issue, that issue should now be closed. It is, uh, issues. that issue is closed, Argo is good, everything's up to date.
So that, that's it, that's all there is to it. Updating Kube Prometheus. All good, nice and easy.